beauty gang so today I am bringing y'all all types of natural hair slayage but I'm also bringing you guys a video on five possible reasons why your hair isn't retaining length I know in the title I said isn't growing a lot of people confuse the two your hair is always growing it's just a matter of not retaining its length so that it'll be longer so yeah never think that your hair isn't growing it's always growing it's just certain things that you may or may not be doing is causing it not to retain length and therefore in your mind you think it's not growing so I'm gonna give you guys the top five reasons behind why your hair might not be growing okay so hopping right into this video reason number one might be high manipulation that means are you doing your hair like every day or every other day that might be a little bit too much are you constantly wearing braids are you constantly wearing tight hairstyles are you always in your hair are you always touching your hair I'm a hair toucher too I won't lie that has to do with hair growth too it might be stunning your growth it might be causing breakage it might be causing split ends that all go up your shaft and therefore you won't be retaining any length reason number two and this is definitely a personal opinion that you don't have to go with but I honestly can vouch for the fact that when I took my natural hair into my own hands okay I became my own beautician my hair has grown substantially like all this okay like y'all y'all this was never possible back when I used to go to the salon and let people cut my hair and do my hair and all that stuff like never possible so another reason might be because you're letting too many other hands into your hair like I personally feel like you know your hair better than anybody else does so why not become your own beautician you know what I mean so maybe it's time to definitely start taking your natural hair into your own hands yes yeah, sometimes it can be a struggle and like I understand the whole lazy aspect of it because natural hair is a job okay okay I've been doing this for some years now I know but I really feel like it's very much so worth it and very rewarding at the end of the day when you start getting results and like growth like this and know that you did it on your own and like I'm definitely in the mindset I don't need anyone to ever do my hair for me now personally I haven't been to the salon in years maybe like a year and a half or two and that's not any shade or anything towards salons I just don't really feel like they know my hair like I do like they're not as gentle they're very like fast because they have other clients they don't know what I know in terms of detangling my hair and what products are best for my hair and like to section my hair off and go gradually from root to end like Y'all, take your natural hair into your own hands and I guarantee you will see some type of difference in your hair. And that's not to say never go to the salon ever again. I'm not saying that. Eventually, I might try it once a year. Not even once a year. Eventually, I might try it just to get it like real bone straight, sleeky, see how long my hair gets. But for now, I'm good taking care of my own hair, growing my own hair, nourishing my own hair. So... That might be another reason why your hair isn't retaining any length. Which leads me to my next tip. Y'all see this? How I'm touching my hair? This was tip number one. High manipulation. I'm just touching it because I'm just, ah, haven't had my natural hair in a minute. But anyway, okay. Tip number three kind of correlates with tip number two because I said that I understand it can be tiring and time consuming. And you know, there's lazy naturals out here. I for sure am one of them. So I completely feel your pain with like not wanting to go through those hours and hours of dealing with your natural hair but neglect and laziness can be a huge reason behind why your natural hair doesn't seem to be retaining any length if you're not moisturizing it if you're not tending to your hair giving it TLC if you don't know what that means tend to love and care okay your hair is therefore not going to do that for you. It's not going to show up and show out for you, okay? It's definitely a give and take relationship. So if you want your hair to flourish, you're going to have to do things to make that happen. Which means you can't really always be lazy. You can't always be neglectful of your hair. And if it does get to that point, do what I do. Protective style. That has... Whew, videos coming soon, y'all, but man protective style your hair if you're in that mode of i don't have time for this i don't feel like doing it blah blah wigs okay wigs another huge reason your hair probably isn't retaining its length you're not listening to it 
you're not listening to it. And by that I mean your hair literally tells you when it needs a trim. That's one of the reasons like my hair is in blow dry mode right now. I needed a trim. And granted, I only trimmed my hair about a month and a half ago based off some products a company sent me that like dried out my hair, blah, 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 before I put it back in braids for my wig. I think it really like messed up my ends because usually I can go three to four months. And you know, I was honestly going to neglect it and be like, oh, they'll be okay. I'll do it like after I take off my next wig. But I keep my wigs on for like two to three weeks before I decide to do like a wash day and recondition, re-moisturize my hair. So I knew if I waited that long, I was really gonna mess up like the growth that I'm receiving from taking care of my hair. So I'm definitely planning on trimming it like tonight or tomorrow, whatever, before I put it back in braids and put my wig back on. So I'm saying all that to say, just because you might have a routine of every three to four months like me, when your hair needs a trim, it will literally tell you, you will literally feel it. So Sometimes you can see it. I'll see like split ends. Like you gotta listen to your hair. It tells you when something's wrong. And I can actually do a video for you guys of how to know or when to know it's time to trim your hair if you want. Definitely be sure to leave this emoji below and I will be sure to make that video for you guys as soon as possible. But yeah, your hair also tells you when it's dry and when it's thirsty, when it needs moisture, you can feel it. It tells you when you need a break, when it just needs to be left alone. Like maybe more and more hair starts to fall out each wash day. You gotta pay attention to those type of things. It tells you when it doesn't like certain hair products like listen to your hair girl and also it tells you when a style is painful and when it's just not feeling it like them tight sew-ins or that high top knot bun it will tell you when it's just like and us as natural sometimes tend to ignore the signs when a style is painful we're like oh our head will get over it blah blah, blah. and then we'll start getting those bumps around the edges around the nape area we're like what the heck it's because we didn't listen to our hair and that takes me back to number two about learning your hair taking your hair into your own hands so you will read and know the signs of when your hair needs help Okay, and then the last reason your hair might be acting up, okay? I know you guys have all pretty much heard of the get rich quick scheme, okay? Think of that in a natural hair way. Like, I feel like majority of us naturals are all into that, like, get long hair quick scheme and we don't really want to put in the work for it and I know me personally like in my early stages of being a natural I was all about googling and youtubing how's the fastest way to grow my hair blah 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 blah, blah. listening to this natural listening to that natural naturals who don't even have my hair type or curl pattern like my gosh I was going all about the wrong thing just because I wanted length like that like I kind of thought it was going to happen overnight like it kind of does for other people it appears like but Promise you the get, I was gonna say get rich quick, the get long hair quick scheme really doesn't work for a majority of us. So you kinda gotta force yourself out of that mindset and keep in mind that eight, nine times out of 10, slow and steady will win that growth race you're looking to achieve. So yeah, slow and steady wins that race and within that slow and steady scheme of things, consistency, like retaining your length is a process, definitely. So you have to stay consistent with what you're doing on top of learning your hair, on top of pretty much everything that I mentioned. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Definitely let me know if you could relate to any of these reasons that I came up with of why your natural hair might not be growing or might not be retaining any length. Definitely be sure to comment below if any of these really hit home and you're like, oh, I really don't do that. Or if you think any of these reasonings that I came up with are really gonna be helpful for you. Cause I'd like to do more videos like this because I'm not gonna hold on y'all. Like my hair is flourishing and I'm making it my duty to make sure all of beauty gang hair flourishes. We are going to be snatched, honey, okay? So yeah, if you are still watching this video and you're not subscribed to beauty gang, Come on now, boo. You already know what I'm gonna say. Subscribe, all right? And for the rest of you guys, don't forget to like and share. And until next time, guys, bye.